Hey YouTube, Steve from Spire Agile, and this is the Agile Gardener. This channel is all about Agile, Lean and Flow, and if that's what you're into, then you'll be familiar with estimation. Now, I'm here to tell you to stop estimating, stop using story points, put your burn down charts in the bin where they belong, and forget about velocity. They are a total waste of your time. There's a better way. Now, I've recently done a few videos on what to do instead of estimating centered around cycle time, percentiles, then using Monte Carlo simulation for accurate forecasting. And thank you all so much for the comments and questions on these. I've really enjoyed reading them, replying and helping out on them where I could. So please keep the questions and comments coming. I reply to every single one. Now, if you're not familiar with cycle time in Monte Carlo, please don't be put off because they're very easy to do. And you get all this data for free, so there's no reason not to do it. The link to these videos is in the description below. So please check them out if you haven't already. But eliminating estimation and and all the evil activities that go with it and being able to accurately forecast is only half the story. The other half of the story are the things that you actively need to do both to improve your forecasting and to ensure your forecasting remains accurate. So just because you've understood your cycle time and made a beautiful forecast using Monte Carlo doesn't mean that's it. You've got to put the work in and actively manage your process. And that's the topic for today. Now, if you haven't seen my video on supercharging Scrum and Kanban, please check that out to find out the top five things that you can do to speed up delivery, which should be on screen now. But the first thing you should do to start actively managing your process is to use an extremely important chart, which you've probably never heard of before. And I'd like to introduce you to, drum roll please, an aging chart. A what? Yes an aging chart, or more precisely, an aging work in progress chart. So what is an aging chart and why is it important? Well, think back to the videos on cycle time in Monte Carlo. The thing that they have in common is that they are looking at historical work, work that's finished. There's nothing you can do to improve their performance because they're done. You need to concentrate on your work in progress, your active work, specifically how old it is, and you need to do this every day. Your Scrum and Kanban board might look something like this. Now, until these stories are done, they're active. They show your current work in progress. An aging chart will look almost exactly the same as your board, but with a few additions. So let's take a look. Oh, and there's a link in the description to the template so you can download it and have a play with your own data. Right, along the bottom, you can see your board column names and up the side, the number of days old a story is. The story names are listed so you can read off to the left how old they are and they're placed in their current workflow state. Now, firstly, you're gonna mark your percentiles horizontally across the board, 50%, 70%, and lastly, 85%. So where do your percentile lines come from? We get this data from your cycle times for single items that you've previously calculated. So check the videos out in the description below for more information on what this is and how to do it. And secondly, you're gonna display how old each story is and where it is in your workflow. Now, how old an active story is starts from the moment you begin a story up to, but excluding, when it enters done. We're only interested in stories that are active, so work in progress. In my workflow here, a story is only considered active when it leaves the to-do column and enters in progress. Then the timer starts and only ends when the story goes into the done column. So only blocked on hold, in progress, and in test count as active time. As a tip here, don't forget to use your blocked on hold column. Move an active story, so a story you've actually started, into this column whenever you're not working on it for any reason. This is extremely important. The reason why is the subject of my next video, so be sure to check that out when I've done it and I'll put a link to it in the description when it's ready. Now remember from our previous videos, we want to work to the 85th percentile. That's our forecast for delivery. It's the 85% probability of a story actually completing. In our example here, it's eight days. So on our aging chart, we can see here that the 50th percentile is four days, 70th is six days, and of course, 85th is eight days. Remember, it's only when our work is active, in progress, that we can actually do something to ensure we either improve our forecast or ensure we hit our forecast. Once it's complete, it's too late. We can't change history, unfortunately. So what we need to do is quickly check the age of each story in progress and take action if necessary. And I'd strongly suggest doing this at the stand up and assess where we are. For example, if we're doing scrum with two week sprints and we see a story that is now four days old, this means in our example, it's reached our 50th percentile, would that give you pause for thought? Well, it might when you consider that this story is now bigger than 50% of the stories we've ever seen before and that the chance of it not hitting our 85% forecast has just doubled from 15 to 30%. 
Each time our story halves the time left to complete against our 85th percentile, the chance of it not completing to the 85th percentile doubles. Now, if you're getting any value from this, please smash the like button and subscribe for more content like this if you haven't already. Right, back to our aging story. So what about when our story reaches six days old, hitting our 70th percentile, meaning its chance of not completing against our 85th percentile forecast has just doubled again to 60%. This should certainly make us stop, think and take action. Now, understanding this at the time it's happening, or before, perhaps at the 50th percentile, gives us great insight into actions we need to take on specific stories. Where is it in our workflow? If it's still in progress and not even reached testing yet, do we need to swarm on it? Is there a blocker that needs removing? Should we split the story? What can we as a team do to ensure we don't violate our forecast? Now, if we're pretty certain it's close to completion, then it's probably not a big concern. After all, we know that 15% of the time, we're not going to hit our forecast anyway since we work into the 85th percentile. But having this data represented visually helps us understand what actions to take and importantly when. So how do we get this data? Where does it come from? Well, as with cycle time, all of this data is being tracked automatically in whatever agile tool we're using, whether that's Jira or Azure DevOps or any of the many others. All we need to do is extract and plot it. Now for Jira, I've got a detailed video on how to do this, link on screen now, but the principle is exactly the same no matter what tool you're using. Now there are some agile tools out there that have aging charts built in. So if you're lucky enough to be using one of those, like Kanbanize for example, start using it, it's there for free. But if you're doing it manually, once you have it set up, it literally takes a few seconds. I find it's a great way of making stand-ups more meaningful, as concentrating on the age of an item usually ends up in better discussions, resulting in actions leading to the right outcome. So what about a scenario where you've calculated your 85th percentile for completing a single item, but it's bigger than you want it to be? Let's say it comes out at 17 days. What can you do then? How can you reduce this? Well, the answer to that, in part at least, is flow efficiency. And that's the subject of my next video, which if it's not the one on screen now, means I haven't done it yet. So please click the bell icon so you get notified when it's ready. Okay, that's it for this one. Stay humble and I will see you next time.